Well, change in leadership today for Minnesota as Tim Walls becomes the 41st governor in our state. He'll be sworn in this morning in St. Paul, and then he faces a divided legislature when the session begins tomorrow. Ellery McArdle joins us live from the state capitol. Ellery, Walls is taking off office at a very interesting time. Yeah, absolutely. A very divided time, Chris and Alicia. In fact, Minnesota right now is the only state with a divided legislature. You're going to have the uh, Democrats controlling the House and the Republicans will control the Senate. So one thing Walls has to do is pass a roughly $50 billion budget this session. But then there are the issues that he wants to tackle. For instance, Wall says that prison safety is one of his top priorities. There's also talk about his support of legalizing marijuana. He's promising every Minnesotan access to quality education and health care during his first term. But infrastructure is a huge topic for him, addressing our state's roads and bridges and funding it by potentially raising the gas tax. We spoke with Hamlin University political science professor David Schultz, and he thinks the gas tax could be the biggest point of contention between Walls and Republicans. I'm not looking at this transportation system in four and eight years. I'm looking at it generationally so that we're able to, to, to have that certainty in how we do the funding. His idea of wanting to increase gas taxes um, to be able to pay for in infrastructure, I think is going to be a very hard sell. So the new session begins tomorrow right here at the Capitol. So we'll see in the coming days and weeks which big issue really starts to gain traction. Back to you.